a small preview of this video. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today in this video. We will see this TH-11 Anti-Electro Dragon War Base. I will give you a quick base analysis and then show you some replay proofs. I will also point out important details throughout replay proofs. You can copy this base from the base copy link given in the video description. So without wasting any time, let's analyze the base. As you can see here, both Inferno Towers are set multi-target and well isolated from nearby compartments, so they are not chargeable because they are out of range for Queen. And, the troops just walk around them while taking damage. The town hall compartment is loaded with all four X bows along with CC and other defenses, as most of attackers start from topside to secure town hall early. Same with the eagle compartment. All three heroes and bunch of point defenses makes its very high DPS compartment. The high hit point storages stalls the troops and push them towards these compartments. So they don't go after the eagle. If you watch closely, the compartment buildings are placed with more than one tile gap between them. This will restrict the chain damage of electro dragons which is very important. Because, after all we are building a TH-11 anti-electro dragon war base. The air defenses are placed on inner side of compartments. So the heroes, or bunch of loons and hogs can't take them down easily. Now if you watch closely, the traps are placed all around the base. The double giant bombs near bomb towers for hybrid and witches and other ground troops. The air bombs near high DPS area for air troops. And black mines near important defenses to protect them. Small bombs and spring traps in high DPS town hall compartment. The sweepers are pushing away air troops from both high DPS area and protecting the infernos at the same time. The wall structure of this base can mess up super wall breakers AI very easily. You need two wall breaks to get into the town hall compartment. If you deploy super wall breaker here, it will target here or here. And if you want to wall break from side compartments, the first wall breaker will go here, second will target this, and then the third will go for this wall. The ideal CC troop for this base is Super Minions and Headhunter. But, if you don't have access to them, you can use Witch and Dragons, or any damage CC troops. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I tried my best to keep it as short and informative as I can. You can copy this base from the base copy link given in the video description. Now, let's dive into the replay proofs as it is TH-11 Anti-Electro Dragon War Base. The first replay is obviously of Electro Dragon Spam Defense. This guy came with level 3 Electro Dragons and started from Town Hall side, as I said in analysis, by doing that. He lured early CC troops, which is not ideal. And also going straight into the highest DPS compartment of base. As I said earlier, troops are walking around the Infernos. Even though, single target Infernos are better against Electro Dragons. I changed them to multi due to a lot of spam and bad attacks during testing. The Electro Dragons always end up going out of the base. Whenever deployed from either top or bottom side. When deployed from top side, Eagle will stay up for longer and shoot down troops. And when deployed from bottom side. The all 4 X bows will stay up for longer. And take down troops easily. I will show you one attack later. On what if you start air attack from either side. Just like this one. The core will survive till the end. Against most of the attacks. As I've been attacked a lot with bats, 
The next replay is of Pekka Bobat defense. Same as the last guy, he also started from Town Hall side to take down Town Hall with Kill Squad. But that early CC lure is forcing him to use that freeze spell that he meant to use for bats. As you can see here, it is not easy to funnel your troops into the town hall compartment due to the double wall structure. Those two Teslas are also placed there to mess up the funneling. The main problem with bats on this base is you have to take down Eagle with most of splash defenses with your kill squad. But if you go after the Eagle, so many splash defenses, along with all X bows will stay up, which is almost impossible to take down with bats. As you can see here, the troops are gone. But four splash defenses still standing, with only bat and two freeze spells left. Which is not enough to take down remaining base. Hit the like button if you like this base analysis and base building guide. The third replay proof is of Zap Dragon. Which is yet another air attack. If you have noticed it, this replay is of a friendly attack. Because during the testing, no one has attacked me with Zap Dragons. But, I want to see how this base do against those dragons. So. I asked my friend to try his best with dragons on this base. And. This is what he came with. As you can see, he used his heroes with log launcher to take down the eagle compartment. Which is very clever move. But he failed to get those Inferno Towers with Hero Dive. That will cause him problem later on. He started Dragons from side to take down remaining air defense quickly. Dragons are grouping together to go directly into Expo Farm. But the Expo farm combined with CC troops and those Inferno Towers are smoking down dragons in no time. And this is what happens if you start air attack from either side, as I said in analysis. And for the final replay proof. We will see this, Jibo Witch, Defense. Even though most people combine witches with zap spells. This is also a classic witch army composition. He started from the side. Because if he started from opposite of town hall. The siege machine will not survive enough to reach town hall. And he will end up with one star. But this way, he is completely ignoring eagle in the far side inferno tower. And this defenses will tear apart those witches in no time. Even if someone starts from the corner, most of the troops will not go with Siege Machine and just walk around the base. I hope you enjoyed this video and this anti-electro dragon TH-11 war base will help you in wars and upcoming CWL. Consider subscribing for more such quality guide videos and turn on the notification. Also hit the like button to show your support. The more you guys like, the more motivation I get to continue providing such videos. See you in the next one.